You might be wondering why, with all the information that's coming at us, that they rarely talk about how the mind processes information, about how beliefs and worldviews influence how we interpret this information, and then how the mind gets trapped in certain patterns of understanding, belief, interpretation that formulate a certain mindset. And then that mindset doesn't seem to be able to be changed even when there's information coming that proves that other things are true. So that mindset has to believe in what it believes. And so to me, when you're looking at human beings and you're talking about the term asleep, people are unwilling to let in other information that is more in alignment with truth. They would rather keep their belief system keep stuck in their mindset, keep stuck in their beliefs. And one of the biggest beliefs is called, it's actually a, a worldview probably, it's called statism. And that is in the support and belief that governments are like a religion. They're an outer authority that tell you what the truth is, tell you what to do, and they're there for the good of everybody and that we should support them. And what they're putting forth is, is okay. So people that consciously or unconsciously have that worldview are the wall, are the defense, are the way that those who have designed and created the system from a whole that utilize the governments as the fronts to extract the resources, control the people, and basically suck the lifeblood or extra value of resources or people or money through usury, through interest on interest, through debt, through the central banks, and through any method that they find to fleece the people. So if you have the mindset that is not that, if you have a mindset that you have made up on your own, come to this, some conclusion that there has to be another way of governance than the cur current government systems across the planet. And that if there's going to be an evolution or a revolution of our species, we have to get at the core foundation of what governance is and how we make laws and how are we gonna protect ourselves? Because as you might've noticed, the war has increased, the attacks are getting bigger, and right now they're going after the people who will stand up to them, getting the masses on their side, creating an enemy, creating an us versus them, and they're gonna make it worse and worse and worse. And if we don't do anything about it, it's gonna reach a stage where we won't be able to do anything about it. Right now, it's open. Right now, the possibility is there, even though it may seem remote, that it may seem as if we don't have a chance, but there are billions of us and hundreds of thousands of them. And the spiritual warriors and the wizards, and the high priestesses and beings who know of their immortal spiritual selves are exceedingly powerful. And we are just beginning to get to that point of, okay, you've gone too far. Most people, peaceful, loving people, are willing to put up with pretty much anything. Just leave them alone. Let them have their life. But now, you're jabbing kids. You're stopping us from traveling. You're erasing the middle class. You're implementing devious plans that are not at all good for the species. And now, game's on. Games on, meaning all the good people of the planet have to start doing something organized together that has strength and power and has victory built into the design. And that is what I put forward here. A plan, system, a way for all of us to connect peacefully, create our own system, and build the future that we want to build. Not waiting for these others and not needing 
these ethics. Everything is there for us to do it ourselves. And if you're interested in that, contact me because we have a lot to talk about. <laughs>